Hello everyone, today we will be talking about how to make a main wound incision during phaco emulsification cataract surgery. So this is the first case, what is important is fix the globe and then you can, I usually take a super temporal incision, the incision can either be a biplanar or triplanar incision. So here you go, this enter the cornea, this is the first plane and now slowly enter the second plane that is the plane of cornea and make a small dimple and enter to the anterior chamber this is the third plane okay you have to be smooth and steady this is the second case okay here you make the first plane enter the cornea and then slowly enter the plane of cornea making the second plane and now be slow be steady make a dimple and this is your third plane enter the anterior chamber this entry should be parallel to the plane of iris you have to be very careful, be very slow and steady. This is a very important step of phaco surgery. So here you go, this is the third case. So fix the globe, uh, be slow, be steady, take your time. So enter the first plane, this is the first plane and now slowly enter the second plane, that is the plane of cornea. Be slow, be steady, okay. And then slowly make a dimple and you have to direct your keratome into the anterior chamber this direction should be parallel to the plane of iris make sure you don't injure the capsule or the iris be really slow so here are a few important points firstly what should be the size of incision the size ideally should be 2.2 millimeters in length and 2.8 millimeters in breadth not more not less than this than this size secondly is the position of the incisions so through the three positions, one superior, super temporal and a temporal incision, it's up to the surgeon's choice. The third is the placement of incision. The first incision is a clear corneal incisions. These incisions are self-sealing wound, villous malplation and no cauteries required in this incision. Second is the limbal incision, can be easily converted to ECG and can lead to iris prolapse if the entry is premature. The third incision is scleral incision. It's really hard to make this incision. Uh, it can be converted in, into SICS if you want to. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.